Vault 76 is one of the 17 control vaults designed without an experiment. Physical, psychological or social. Manufactured by the Vault Tech Corporation, Vault 76 was designed to commemorate the 300 years since America's founding due to its opening in 2076. The player characters, the Vault Dwellers, some of the best and brightest of America, survived the nuclear blasts from China during the Great War on October 23, 2077. 25 years later on Reclamation Day in 2102, the Vault Dwellers emerged from Vault 76, having been sent on a quest to rebuild Appalachia by their overseer, who left the vault before the rest of the inhabitants. Original 2018 questline The Vault Dwellers discover a world in ruins with robotic Chinese liberator robots still running amok. The Vault Dwellers learn about the Scorched Plague, a virus transforming survivors into scorched, and the emergence of scorched beasts spreading the virus which are gigantic mutated bats. The player character is given the task of tracking down the overseer, following her footsteps and holotapes as she travels Appalachia and discovers how the war has changed her former home, as well as her fiancé Evan whom the player character may mercy kill. In the process, the player character becomes familiar with different pre- and post-war factions, and how they coped with the disaster, or were destroyed by it. They first become familiar with the defunct responders led by Maria Chavez, a humanitarian relief effort formed after the war but dissolved in 2096. With the research efforts of a responder named Claire Hudson, the player character vaccinates themselves in an old medical center. Hudson's message sends the player character to become part of the Firebreathers, once led by Melody Larkin, and they learn about Hank Madigan, a firebreather seeking to eradicate the scorched. Searching Hank's trail, the player character meets a robot named Rose at the top of the world. Hank's body is trapped in a cage, having been killed by raiders. Rose's personality and voice is based on a raider woman named Rosalind Jeffries. Rosalind's boyfriend, David Thorpe, had designed the robot after her. In 2082, Rosalind went to Charleston while looking for a Christmas present for David, but she was imprisoned by the responders and Melody Larkin. The responders lied to David about Rosalind being killed by them. David used a mini-nuke to avenge her by destroying the Summersville Dam Dam on Christmas morning. This caused Summersville Lake to catastrophically flood Charleston, actually killing Rosalind, and over 1,000 other survivors and responder members in what would be known as the Christmas Flood. The player character puts down David who has become a scorched. Rose requests the player character to find an old raider stash. After seeing they can be trusted, Rose helps them obtain Hank's uplink, a device that can locate scorched, but it was broken by raiders. To help repair the device, Rose sends the player character to the bunker of Abigail, Abby, Singh, who was developing the project. The player character becomes familiar with an anarchist group Abby was part of, the Free States, who distrusted Vault Tech and, apprehensive about the United States government's ties to the corporation, decided to build their own bunkers instead in the mire. Abby survived the war in her family's bunker and learned about the scorched threat which took over Harper's Ferry in 2086. Her deceased father built a defense detection system against them, although its sensors were damaged by the swampland humidity. Although Abby took over and quit the project out of difficulty, the player character is able to bring it to fruition after finding the access codes located in a terminal owned by Sam Blackwell, another Free States member. Abby left to go to the top of the world to retrieve Madigan's uplink, but her fate is unknown. Although Scorched can become detected, the player character still requires weapons to fight against them and the Scorch Beasts. Abby's message informs about the Appalachian Brotherhood of Steel. The player character heads to Fort Defiance, previously known as Allegheny Asylum, and learns the Brotherhood in Appalachia was led by Elizabeth Taggarty, which was adapted from the Taggarty's Thunder Unit due to Elizabeth's close ties with Roger Maxson whom she communicated with over a radio transmitter from California. Elizabeth pleaded with Maxon to grant her team permission to use nuclear weapons against the Scorch Beasts but was forbidden by him because he found the concept of using nuclear weapons, even to help fight the Scorch Beasts, to be too morally abhorrent after their world was destroyed by nukes. The Brotherhood was joined up with the responders to fight super mutants at the Battle of Huntersville in 2086, though the relationship between the organizations deteriorated when the Brotherhood began pestering the responders for supplies. The player character may learn about the fate of the responders and how the Brotherhood was involved. Some time after the Christmas flood, 
Responders member Jeff Nakamura attempted a marriage proposal to Amy Carey but she sorrowfully declined before he even had the chance to make it, feeling focusing on rebuilding Appalachia was more important. By 2095, Amy received constant pressure from the responders to join them, but she opted to remain separate from them but continued working on a project to create a program to monitor the environment for contamination by the scorched with their assistance. The frequent requests for her to join caused her friction with Jeff and Maria. One day, Amy got bit by a mole rat and became quite ill. Believing was done for, Jeff came to visit her by chance and it made her realize how compassionate and noble Jeff was and how important he was in her life. Loose lips at the responders ended up leading to the Brotherhood catching wind of the project, which led to them trying to procure information and project assets from the responders at gunpoint. However, even after being talked down by Maria, the Brotherhood would continue looking for Amy and her research. Amy learned that the Brotherhood was after her and she theorized that they were after her technology to use for their own purposes, even to create weapons. Amy noticed signs that the Brotherhood were close to finding her so she abandoned her trailer and went into hiding, as she refused to give the Brotherhood anything following the way they had treat Jeff and his fellow responders. She left a holotape for Jeff, telling him he could find her at the place where they had their first date, Cow Spots Creamery. However, Amy apparently overlooked that a message from Jeff on her terminal also mentioned the location of the date. She died at the creamery with a note for Jeff imploring him to share her research with the responders, while Jeff's fate is unknown. The rest of the responders did not fare well after. Boyfriends Miguel Caldera and Gary Wilkins were torn apart when a stray scorched broke into the airport and killed Gary. Maria and the rest of the responders were killed in 2096 at the airport during a planned invasion by the Scorched and Scorchbeasts. On their search for Elizabeth, the player character finds out the fate of the Brotherhood in a cavern after the group attempted Operation Touchdown back in early 2095. It turns out that nuclear strikes are essential to defeating the Scorchbeasts. The player character attempts to fulfill the Overseer's desire to secure one of the missile silos in the region in order to launch a nuclear weapon to fight the Scorchbeasts spreading the plague, protecting humanity by preventing the plague from spreading beyond the boundaries of Appalachia. After doing more investigation into Sam Blackwell, as Taggarty's notes suggested he could be the key to unlocking the nuclear silos, the player character learns of a bunker under the White Spring Resort and goes there in hopes of finding survivors. There, they discover the bunker was used by the Enclave, the remnants of the United States government. They encounter the Enclave's AI, Modus, and also discover the Scorch Beasts are a bioweapon unleashed by Enclave leader Thomas Eckhart in 2086 in order to overcome DEFCON. With Modus' assistance, the player character launches a nuke, inviting other vault dwellers to fight against the Scorch Beasts and their virus. However, the Overseer has left behind a frustrated holotape for the Vault Dwellers who chose to launch nukes for any purpose other than destroying the Scorch Beasts.